you know, everyone makes mistakes. Every entrepreneur makes mistakes. Every leader makes mistakes. But it is important to learn from these mistakes. I mean, the thing really is that you can't really improve if you don't make mistakes because you don't learn from your successes, really. Thomas Watson, the founder of IBM, even had this saying that he wanted his people to double the number of their mistakes just to learn more. Hey, my name is Armin L. Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I would like to help you to become a great leader. So if you don't want to miss any tips, tricks, tools, and methods about leadership for entrepreneurs, subscribe to my channel now, and I'm more than happy to have you. Today's lesson is about learning from mistakes. I would like to share with you the three biggest mistakes that from my point of view, I have made as an entrepreneurial leader in the past and what I've learned from them. Mistake number one is being too close, being too close to your team and um, not keeping the right distance as a consequence. That, that normally does not work that well because there are not many people who can actually discern between a personal relationship and a business relationship. Uh, I only had this once in my career with a fantastic team of high performers and high potentials in London that worked and here it worked really well because they could discern between uh, this personal uh, relationship with me as a friend and on the other hand when we talked business it was no nonsense and everybody would uh, respect my final decisions after the discussions that we had. So what normally happens is that once you are too close and you're presenting uh, yourself as a friend what happens is that you um, uh, people people misinterpret this in a way that they think oh he's my friend and I can do anything so at the end of the day there's a high probability that they also think that your decisions are not decisions but recommendations which is a thing that you don't want to have because your team is going to lose direction you're going to lose a lot of energy with discussions on why things should be done you uh, uh, you are inclined to justify yourself and all that so make a clear statement uh, that uh, at the end of the day you're responsible you're accountable your decisions count at the end of the day and don't let your team too close so that there is not this danger of a mixture between personal and business relationships the second mistake the second big mistake that I made in the past was the, my obsession with the top line and my obsession with growth mm, I um, once ran a company uh, where uh, everything was about growth and the growth had to be, that was a people business, a, a services business, and the, to do the growth, you would have to, to, to hire people. Uh, as a consequence, you would have them on their payroll, but if they were not hired by a customer, they would just cost you money and not make any revenues. And uh, then you start running after, after the revenues, after the turnover, and the turnover never comes as fast as you would like it to come or as you expect it to come. So the whole thing went pear-shaped. And finally, not all, well, there were other, other factors in, in, in the whole construct, but at the end they were fired. So um, I learned from that that concentration on the bottom line is really what counts. A business that doesn't make a profit is not a business, is it? So you have to concentrate on the, on the bottom line from the very beginning. Of course, you have to invest, but then operationally, concentrate on making a profit so the thing is you are going to think about what can I do realistically in terms of revenues what is my normal contribution uh, so the gross profit and then you just ask yourself what fits between the gross profit and the bottom line Mistake number three of the biggest mistakes that I made as an entrepreneur was not leading my bosses. Now, if I say bosses, I actually mean stakeholders, shareholders, and uh, that is extremely important because once you're running a business, there will always be, there will be the point in time when there will be conflict between your shareholders and you and your stakeholders and you. So always think about how you can actually combine your strengths because everybody has got strengths. And from my opinion, if you put your strengths and your shareholders' strengths together, then you are even stronger. That is not always very easy because, you know, when the going gets tough, 
everybody is actually, uh, especially the stakeholders, many of them they are actually very concerned about their investment and how they can save their money. So uh, discussions might become, well, a little bit ugly from time to time, not too, say, fact-based, uh, emotionally, etc. But always keep your calm and make constructive proposals that are based on, you know, as I said before, the two strengths um, coming together. And the worst thing you can do is actually what I did, uh, make uh, your stakeholders feel like fools or incompetent. Don't concentrate on what they do wrong, concentrate on how they can, how you can use their strengths to help you and to help the common good. That is a major learning from my past. And uh, I got fired twice, once from a project and once from a company, just because I did not manage the stakeholders well. And uh, I learned from that that it is there is no point in, in, in uh, going into a conflict with their stakeholders. Rather, concentrate on the strength of them and um, combine yours with theirs. Then you're going to be successful. Leadership is a craft and an art at the same time. So the three principles that I talked about today or the three mistakes that you should uh, uh, that you should avoid being too close to your people, being obsessed with the top line and not managing your stakeholders are part of the craft. And uh, follow, please, I can only urge you to follow uh, my my recommendations in this instance, meticulously avoid these mistakes to be successful. The life coaching teaches you to learn the uh, capability, skills and the knowledge of the greatest leaders and entrepreneurs worldwide within weeks. So if you want to reduce the sleepless nights and be more successful as a leader of a company, feel free to uh, join the community by clicking on the button below uh, this video and by that subscribing to my channel. And if you like, give us a thumbs up so that you show you appreciated this part of the show. I'm Armin L. Rao, founder of uh, A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and don't forget, lead yourself.